Today is uh, August 12th, 2006. We're in the middle of the uh, Mentos and diet soda uh, experiment. The key ingredient aspart is aspartame, a, a fake sugar that will react with the minty goodness of the Mentos and hopefully create a geyser and maybe a wormhole if lucky. <laughs> Dr. Gordy will be um, I've never done we'll be, this uh, before. <laughs> releasing our seven Mentos to the, uh, the leader. It was a success. We uh, yeah. we reached about we two a, meters in height. A little technical difficulty. Um, the two. apparatus, which is should a, be glass. We made it out of paper. And the Gordy Soap apparatus. We're going to now um, up the number of Mentos by twenty percent <laughs> to see if we can't directly increase the height of the geyser. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, extra what are you doing? Yeah, this is ten. <laughs> that was a success. So as you can see, I don't know if you can get a shot here. How much, out of how much has been sprayed out? So exactly. this is the Pepsi and this is the Coke. Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke. In every soda you have um, the existence of Henry's Law, which is the gas being dissolved into the liquid the CO2 gas. There's also Murphy's Law. And the idea behind this is <laughs> that you um, release the CO2 immediately and rapidly and the surface of a mento is very, um, it's actually if you look mi like very microscopically it's not smooth. There's a lot of little um, in caves or what would you call those like enclaves <laughs> divots indentations divots uh, which allow for like a, some sort of quick uh, increase in <laughs> solubility but some sort of quick reaction with the with the soda and the surface of a mento